In this video, you're going to learn how to assemble. Go to Autodesk Inventor on your desktop. Once opened, we're going to start a new file. Go up to New. And this time, instead of clicking Standard Part, we're going to click Standard Assembly. So Standard.IAM. It's the three blocks. The top little block is blue. Double click on that. So we are now ready to assemble our object together. Once you get into the assembly file, you need to place your different parts in individually. You go up to place. You want to make sure it says place. If it says place from content center, just click this arrow down and choose the one that says place. Once you do, you now have access to your files and you have to find your files um, in order to place them in. For this tutorial, we're going to find our files up here where it says look in. You're going to click the arrow down. And you're going to go down all the way down to the bottom where you see the folder tutorials. You're going to click on that. Then you're going to click on the one that says how to assemble. And you'll see you should have all four pieces in here. Now we're going to place um, a couple of pieces in at a time, starting with the top board. So click top board, just press open. As you can see, it is going to look really big. You won't really be able to see it. All I want you to do right now is click once, and it's going to place it in. Now you have options to place more than one piece in, but right now we only need one top board. Right click, press OK. Now we have our first piece and we can move it around. We need to now continue to add our pieces, so go back to place. This time we're going to add the side pieces. Open. And this time we're going to click once. It places one. We need three of them. So click again and click one more time. So you, you have three side pieces and one top board. In order to get out of the side piece, you have to right click and press OK. So now we have our three side pieces, basically our legs and our top board. And we're going to keep these right now. We'll put the other ones in later. Click on the home button. And now we're going to start learning how to use the tools at the top here to assemble together. The only thing you really need to know is the constraint tool. So we're going to click constraint. And before we get started, I'm going to show you that there are two different things to use to constrain. We have this one, which is called the mate tool, and this one, which is called the flush tool. The mate tool puts two sides together. So if I wanted this side to be mated with this side, I would click it. And as you see, it has put them together. Now, I don't want that, so I'm going to cancel it. Go back to the constraint tool. Flushing two things makes them even. So if I wanted this edge to be even with this edge, I would click that. And it allows them, oops, I just mated it. <laughs> I just mated them together. Um, so I'm going to go back, cancel, and we're going to use the actual flush tool. And you can see now with the flush tool, apply, you can see that they are um, flushed together. Okay, again, I don't really want that. So we're going to go back. Okay, what I want you to do now is go to the constraint button. 
All right, we're going to mate some things together first. So first we're going to take the mate tool and we want to mate the top. So you're going to have to zoom in. This is going to be really helpful to have a mouse right now to use the scrolly thing on your mouse. If you scroll it towards you, it zooms in. If you scroll it away, it zooms out. So right now you want to zoom in enough so that you choose this top part of your side piece. Don't click an edge. You see right now I'm on an edge. Do not click an edge. You want it to be the top of the side piece. Okay, you want to be able to see that arrow. So if you click it, it should stay and you see that there's an arrow there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and we want to place that top piece, we want to place it here. Okay. Now it looks a little strange right now, but we have to change that. So what you have to do after you make a constraint, you always have to apply it. So right now, click apply. So now what you have, I'm going to cancel out of this to show you, is we have these two on the same plane. This piece is on this bottom plane. This is obviously not what we want it to look like. So we have to use the other tools to help constrain it to be where we want it to go. Come up here and click Constrain. Come over to the Flush button now. And now is when we're going to start creating it to, to look like something. We want to flush this side of our side piece to this piece here. So you want to zoom in to make sure you got the edge of your top board. Once you click it, you can see, press apply, it flushed those two items together. Now if you haven't figured it out by now, we also have to flush. So make sure you come back up to the flush tool. We have to flush this part. And then you want to zoom in to this part. And you see with the flush tool again, it makes two parts even. This is something to think about for when you put your locker piece together. Click apply, press cancel, zoom out a little bit and you can see now we have the first part. You can move these two pieces together. If you click on the top board and you can't move it, you might want to go back in this tutorial and retry um, because you did it incorrectly. Okay, so now we need to do the other side so we're going to take one of our other pieces. We need to do the other side so that we have, um, so it looks sort of like a table. Click Constrain. Click Mate. And the same thing that we did before, we want the top, zoom in, of this to the bottom of our board. Click Apply. Click Flush. And we want to make this piece flush to the side. Now we can't see the side at this point, so you have to come over here, click Orbit. You want to turn so that you can see the side of the top piece. Once you do, right click, press OK, and you want to flush it to this piece here. Press Apply, and you have to, again, just like we did the last time, you have to flush this to be even with this. Click Apply, click, click Cancel, and if you go back to the home screen, you should be able to move these with these side pieces together. So we have the first part of our um, table desk organizer thing uh, finished. To continue on, we are going to actually need to bring in another piece um, in order to place this together. So we're going to come over here and we're going to click Place. We're going to get the shelf, press Open, click once, right click, press OK. So this shelf is basically going to be going in here about. Um, it was originally designed to be on slides, so it would slide in and out, but right now we're just going to create it so that it stays in one spot. So, we have to place the shelf in first before we place this leg in. So we're going to go up to the Constraint button, 
we're going to click mate. What we need to do is we need to mate the, the side of this shelf to the side of this uh, leg. So we're going to click the side leg. We're going to go over to the orbit tool. We're going to turn it so that we can see this edge. And you want to click that face. Don't click edges. Click the face. Once you do, press apply. And I always like to go back to my home button so I can see what I'm doing. And you can see that it has now applied to the side. We're not finished though, we need to flush this piece. So what we want to do is take the flush tool and we are going to flush the front to this spot here. So we want the front of our shelf to be flush to the front part of our leg. Apply it. Pressing cancel, so I'm going to show you this is what it looks like. I can now free move this shelf up and down this side of the leg. Okay? We're going to leave it right there for right now. We're going to move it to about where we think the middle is. It does not have to be perfect. Yours might look slightly different than mine. But we need this so that we can place this in there. So we're going to place our last leg in. Go to constrain. We want to mate, so click this one, the top to the underside of our board. See how it kind of cuts into it right now? It's not exactly how we want it to be, but we want it to be in that spot right now, so click Apply. Now we have to flush different things together. So we're going to click the Flush button. And you want to flush this side to the top part here. Click Apply. So now we have so that our um, board is, is about where we want it. And in order to make it exact, we need to mate uh, this shelf to this um, leg. Click Constrain. Click the mate button, zoom in to the side of our shelf, and you have to now use the orbit tool to turn it around so we can see this side. Right click, press OK, click that side. Once it sticks there, press apply. I'm going to press cancel right now. I'm going to go back to my house view, and I'm going to move it all as one piece. So you should be able to move this all as one piece. The only thing that will still move is this middle shell. Um, at this point, I don't care if it still moves or not. We're just going to leave it about where we think the middle is. So we have one more thing to do with our um, desk unit. And um, that means we have to put the backsplash in. Come up to place. find in how to assemble the backsplash, click open, click once, right click, press OK. Now we have to make the backsplash, um, it's going to be on the top here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use this orbit tool to orbit my desk unit around because I want to see the top. Get out of the orbit tool. Now we are going to just constrain this and then we'll be finished. Click the constrain button. We want to constrain this bottom edge here to the top. Press apply. And if you haven't figured out by now, we now have to flush some different sides. So we're going to flush this part to be even with this side. We're going to apply that. And we're going to turn it around. We're going to flush this back piece here to be even with this back piece. Press apply. And we should be done. Let's go back. Let's turn it around so you can see the final product here. Okay, this is approximately what it should look like if you moved it 
it all should move at once. The last part of this tutorial is to make sure the colors are correct. If you have not colored your pieces previously, right now is a simple way. If you just click on a piece and you come up to where it says default, you can find um, you can find a color or texture you want it to be. I want it to be, I don't want it to be driftwood. I want it to be yellow pine. So I'm going to click on each of my pieces. If I hold down shift and click on them all, it selects them all at once so I don't have to do it individually. I come over yellow pine and now my, my desk unit is complete.